What's going on guys? It's Danny here and I'm gonna play Furion. The season arrives. I'm gonna play Nature's Prophet. So I will start in the jungle. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen. I really like I really like Nature's Prophet. It's like my my first most successful hero anti-mage. What? Okay, these trolls, I can kill them clearly. So, the first thing you want to do, guys, uh, when you play Nature's Prophet, the best thing you can do is to summon your trees. As you can see in the beginning, what I did on the fountain. So, you can still have the uh, mana regeneration from the fountain. And then you just go to the lane. I mean, not to the lane, to the... Uh, to the neutrals, right? Okay, where is the healer? And basically, I want to share with you guys uh, one mistake that I was doing before, which is uh, not use my trees when they are always off cooldown. Just go ahead and use them, guys. You don't lose anything. I should have clarity potion earlier. That ward over here was a very nice because we can clearly see the Nikes. Nikes, ju Nikes jungle is very strong and we just killed him. So that's a huge advantage. What the fuck creeps? So uh, one mistake I was sharing with you guys is I was not using my trees always when they are off cooldown. Just don't save your mana. Um, drink your clarities, uh, summon your trees when they are always off cooldown and uh, you will succeed, you will be a lot faster in the jungle, you will see that, just trust me. And then uh, you can basically kill, talking a little bit about the, the camps that you can kill, you can kill basically every camp. Um, but not the Ursas. Ursas has the, are the most, the most annoying and the hardest to kill. Okay, uh, Midas is gonna be my first item, of course. I'm gonna be that ti that kind of Furion. I'm not gonna make Dagon or anything like that. I will go the typical Midas into Shadowblade. This time Nikes is not low HP. I don't have mana to join anything. So if they want to fight somewhere, I'm sorry. Okay, he's okay. Very nice. Okay, Darkseer has no mana. Ah, what golden green. We should try to kill him, maybe.
Okay. I definitely think my my TP and my hit, additional hit, was really really important and helped killing the uh, Darkseer. I definitely think so. Okay, seems like um, this guy's winning mid, pretty much. And uh, Invoker has a kill because he he killed Nyx with a Sunstrike. But everything is okay because I have one part of my Midas. And I will have Midas ready very soon. And now another tip I can give you guys. When you TP to the lane, just spam your trees, okay? And summon them as soon as you go to the lane, right? Because you still have the regeneration from the fountain. And you will definitely regen some mana. And always remember to your have your... To have your Ring of Basilus active. So you can have... So you can give your trees... Um, additional armor, and they are gonna be a little bit more tanky. Not yet. Okay, 7 minutes Midas, not not bad, I think, considering I was ganking lanes, I was not focused into farming jungle like the whole 7 minutes. If I was focused into attack. only farming the jungle, I would have had uh, much earlier Midas, but I think it's okay guys. Okay, Maiden rotating. Very early for a Crystal Maiden rotation. It's like level 6. Wow, he's level 6 actually. That's a lot of levels. Really much levels for the Maiden. I'm wondering why. Why is that rotation? It's not time yet. Darkseer is probably jungle, but also there is a Nyx in the enemy's jungle. So I think they are... Pull roots and run. I think they are pretty much jungling with two people. Oh, come on. In the bot. I think this guy saved the stun Your for too long. Has Definitely should have stunned earlier, the alchemist. Oh, he's raging now. Ha! <laughs> he owns mid, gets killed one, one time, once, buys back, dies again, and attack. start raging about wards. True fucking story, guys. True story. Worst fucking support ever. <laughs> I'm not ready. 
True fucking story. Uproot and after them. <laughs> Branching out. Whoa, three people meet. No, don't TP base. Midas of cooldown. Your middle tower. Midas of cooldown means. I have to Midas, and then I will start split pushing a little bit more. Radiant structures are fortified. Your middle tower has fallen. Wait, what? Where is my hero going? Now Alchemist is gonna die, yes. Well, there goes the perfect early game. Turns into a fucking feed fest. A bit of greed. Your bottom tower is under attack. Not yet. Your bottom tower is under attack. Warriors of the wood. <laughs> Your bottom tower has fallen. Dire structures are fortified. Midas of cooldown, guys. Gotta get the Midas. <laughs> okay, very good. I sprout and we kill the uh, Darkseer. And then we have another kill for me. Uh, from the invoker He was low and I killed him with my OT I'm getting closer and closer to my shadow blade and then I can start split pushing a lot more a lot more than I am right now There is a double damage It's not time It's not time yet. No. Okay, nice. Warriors of the wood. Ah, I have no mana. The only thing I can do right now is go base and regen and just send my OT. But it's not gonna kill anything. Your 
Nature's wrath. <sighs> okay, never mind. They stopped chasing. Okay, my Shadow Blade is ready, which is really early Shadow Blade. Split pushing after a fight or something or when a fight is going on and I, c I see that I cannot really assist into Your that fight I just send my OT and keep split pushing I'm not ready. that's uh, very good that's a very good part about Furion it's not time. I don't know what is he trying to do well probably this Good thing he didn't have tornado. Not yet. Okay. With me. Not yet. I mean, as a Furian, guys, you have to be farming all the time. You have to be. You have to. F you are like. You are like a carry for your team. Remember that. And you have to be farming a lot. You can do split push. You can assist assist into fights. You can farm lanes. You can farm jungle. Jungle is the safest thing to farm. Okay, I should be pushing bottom lane right now instead of farming the jungle. It's gonna be more beneficial for my team. Glacier. Pull roots and run. Your middle tower is under attack. Pull. Your middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Oh, too late. The stun of this guy was too late. Probably he had on cooldown. As you can see, going to push another lane immediately after a fight or something. 
don't worry about uh, your main carry if you are one if you are like uh, worried about his farm as soon as you don't spam your OT you are you are gonna be completely fine guys because if you spam your OT it's gonna be bad um, use your OT only into fights it's not time. because it's gonna do a lot a lot of damage come, come. And then pretty much farm the rest of the time. I'm gonna have a Hex very soon. We should push this one. This one is free to push right now. Dyer's structures are fortified. I could have TP right here and try to snipe the Luna, but I didn't want to do that because it's too risky. And later on, when Luna was into the fountain already, he was tracked and I can see that Darkseer was in base. So I could have killed the Luna, but I would have not get out of there alive, which is definitely not worth it for me. I don't want to make trades, I just want to not die. I mean, it's good if I don't buy, die. I will. I'm half HP, like very long time. I should go. Sheep stick. Sheep stick. I love it when Furian says that. Okay, they are five men, but I mean, I meet again. So if they are five men mid, that means I can feel free to push bot. Probably, yeah, definitely bot. I have a big stack of trees. They are probably gonna be walking towards me, but I think I'm fine. The seeds of as soon as I back on time, of course. Yep, there we go. No! Oh, okay. It was good. It was good. It was fine. But now he goes in to die. He's not here anymore. What? He farmed that so fast. And he just went base. Fuck. No, he's mid lane. What? He probably infested one of the creeps. Desolator is gonna be my next item. Definitely very good item for me. A bit of green.
Yep, that happens when you joke with CM. You just die. This tower on top should be very low, and it really is. So I will just go kill it. The enemy's top tower has fallen. Radiant structures are fortified. Your this guy has a dust. Under attack. Your and he dusted right there. But he couldn't get me. Not Power wells up from within. Nature's way. Pull roots and run. Okay, they were definitely looking for me. Oh yeah, maybe Roshan. He gets the ulti before I ship. And Luna has a gem. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Illusion. It's not time yet. Not yet. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's structure. Yep, this is basically the power of Furion, guys. Pushing towers like this. <laughs> Crystal Maiden. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Crystal Maiden has a gem. Warriors of the wood. Nip in the bone. Um, Alchemist should be killing Roshan and take the Aegis. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. No. Now he feeds over there. The is good. Uh, by the way, Desolator, if you are wondering why I always say something about the items, it's because it's um, minus minus uh, 7 armor to the bases and to the Monster kill. heroes as well
needs a So yeah, basically the Desolator is uh, minus 7 armor to the bases, the buildings of the enemies, and also it's minus 7 armor to the heroes. So that helps a lot, that helps a lot when I'm solo pushing, split pushing, of course. And then it helps when we are fighting, right? It's not time yet. Daedalus, next item, very useful to deal damage, of course. I will sell this at this point, I don't need it anymore. And I need to keep gold for a buyback, never forget about that. Okay, they must be slowed. Oh shit, worst place to blink. The glens are calling. Yep, exactly. What I wanted to do is kill that. Okay, fortified. What I wanted to do is blink and immediately hex the Luna, but from what I see, I made my team die, which was horrible. They have gem and I will probably die again. Wait, there is no gem. How do they see me then? Probably a random sentry over here on the ancients. What? Well, one minute dead won't be any problem since I was doing fine until now. Definitely I was thinking the game was uh, much more in, you know, we were winning it, but we are not at all. Okay, that was a good one. Of the world. 
Not yet. I'm not ready. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Approach you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, bounty hunter was not there. This guy has a sentry, but he cannot really kill me, and I should have hexed him. That probably would make him die. Jesus, good thing I react in time at the end. You've gone green, I see. I'm under attack. Okay, we have mega creeps. The enemy's bottom barracks have you now have mega creeps. Wow. Hard game though. Hard game. It's not time yet. But finally we make into the mega creeps. They are gonna be defending and they can defend because Luna is very very good hero for defending at this point so we need to keep fighting we need to make fights and uh, win a fight after that we should feel free to end the game just just that just end the game with me okay let me see if I get my full Daedalus <laughs> Okay, there is a gem on Invoker. Not yet. Okay, actually killing Roshan is a good idea. Because they cannot contest. Roshan has fallen to the radiant. What golden green? Immortality. I need to get vision with the trees to Midas one creep of from here. Okay, there we go. I'm 
I'm not ready. We have to fight as five, I guess. Five people fight. It's not time yet. Um, other ways we can do anything. Warriors of the wood. Okay, I didn't even use my OT in that fight. But at the end of the day, that's gonna be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Fury on gameplay. And if you did enjoy, like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also like me on Facebook to get updates about every video I upload. Another video which is 40 minutes long and we have more than 70 kills. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. And uh, yeah, 700 GPM, gold per minute, very good. I think for a Furion is pretty decent. So that's gonna be it, guys. Like, subscribe, like on Facebook, and uh, I see you in the next. Nev it Jesus, thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next video. Good luck and have fun playing Dota.